Hello and welcome to JasonNewland.com My name is Jason Newland. This is going to be a hypnosis session. And what I'm going to focus on today is change. And the title of this video session, audio session, is Change Can Be Fun. seem like a strange title but there's a reason for that I mean, the fact is change is one of the hardest things quite often for people to deal with I don't know about you but if I speak personally sometimes it's times of change that are the most challenging and that can be difficult to really kind of get into that situation and to deal with it, depending on what's happening. Which made me think and wonder about it, because change is inevitable and things are changing all the time. Continuously change. So maybe change doesn't have to be a, a challenge. Maybe it doesn't have to be a chore. Maybe change can be fun. I guess it's about how we perceive and view the situation. Maybe, maybe it's what we attach to the actual event. Maybe it's not the event itself. Maybe it's the other side effects of the event. So this session, I'm just going to talk about change and how it can be fun for you and for me. So just close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so. Allow yourself to get in touch with how you physically feel. How does your body feel right now? How do your feet feel? Your toes? Your hands and your fingers. How does your back feel? How does your jaw feel? Your mouth and your tongue, your teeth, your gums. How do your eyes feel? Your eyes and your eyelids. How does the back of your neck feel? your shoulders, how does your chest and your stomach feel, your hips, how do your legs feel, and just allowing yourself to get in touch with those parts of your body knowing that you don't need complete silence to use or make use of my sessions. It's okay if there's sound, background sound, it's fine. Because this isn't sleep. This is waking hypnosis. So you don't have to drift off into another place in your mind. Allowing the words that I say to sink deep into your mind. Allowing you to make changes that perhaps before you couldn't even imagine being able to do. But now, with very little effort, you can think differently with very little effort. You can imagine a different future for yourself. And sometimes these ways of thinking can be quite surprising. When in the past we thought in a different way. But that's the past. The past is gone. So what you're left with is now and the future. The future hasn't happened yet. 
So the most you can ever do about the future is plan ahead. And you can never plan for everything that's going to happen because you don't know everything that's going to happen. And you can never know everything that's going to happen. So you can never really be prepared for everything. And that's okay. Why should you? No one else in the world can be prepared for everything that's going to happen to them. Why should you be prepared for everything that's going to happen to you? When you've got no idea what's going to happen. So when you think about it, there's a lot less for you to really concern yourself with than maybe you originally thought. And there are some things in the future that you can plan for. And there's lots of things that you can control. There's also lots of things that you can't. And lots of things that you don't know are going to happen. Which makes it much easier, really, when you only focus on the things that you know you can have changes made. Changes from the future that you know. Different ways of thinking can allow you to feel differently about what may happen for you. Thinking in a different way that can be fun. Thinking of it, maybe, as a game. A game where there are no winners or losers. It's just a game. You can decide to either enjoy the game, or not to enjoy the game. It really is your choice. Even with something that you really enjoy, there will be times when it isn't pleasant. That's okay. That's just life. But imagine how great it would be if you can really enjoy the pleasant stuff. And if you can really enjoy the things that maybe in the past weren't pleasant or unpleasant. They were just neutral before. Maybe now you can connect those with the pleasant. Feelings that you can experience. Feeling wonderful. I wonder what that would be like for you. To really get in touch. With that playful side. Of your personality. And tap into that. And pulling out those playful eyes and putting them in front of the normal eyes that you've been looking through for all these years. And somehow replacing them with the playful eyes. Looking out of your eyes, seeing the world in a different way. Seeing your world differently. Noticing the possibilities of fun and enjoyment for change and different things as they move along. Change is always happening. Imagine if you can really enjoy and have fun with these ideas. How much more you'll enjoy your life. And you can allow these ideas to stay in your mind and to grow into actions, allowing you to really enjoy change, to really enjoy feeling wonderful for the rest of the day. Bye.